QuickBooks Online 2022 Budgeted Income Statement Export to Excel and Modify Part Number One. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We set up with a 30 day free trial, holding down control, scrolling up a bit to get to the one to 5% currently in the home page, otherwise known as the Get Things Done page in the business view as compared to the accounting view. If you want to change to the accounting view, it's something you can do by going to the cog up top switch to accounting view down below we will be toggling back and forth between the two views either here or by jumping over to the sample company file currently in the accounting view back on over to the get great guitars we're going to open a few tabs to put reports in go into the tab up top right clicking on it duplicating that tab we're going to go back to the tab to the left right click on it again and duplicate it again as that is thinking i'm going to see where the reports are located over here in the accounting view which is on the reports on the left hand side going back to the business view in the get great guitars we're in the second tab i'm going to be looking at an income statement report and a trial balance let's open those up by going to the business overview we're going to go into the reports on the left hand side closing up the hamburger i'm not opening up the balance sheet this time changing things up changing things up income statement profit and loss here the p and l range to the change from 010122 to 022822 we're going to run that report let's go to the tab to the right this time a trial balance going into the business overview we're going into the reports on the left hand side and i'm going to close up the hamburger let's do that first and then type in trial balance to find it and open up the trusty tb the good old trial balance let's do the range change up top from 010122 to 022822 and run it so now we're going to be looking at the budgeting process. We talked last time about the fact that the budgeting process back to the tab to the left on the income statement is in essence generally something that's outside of kind of the strict definition of what's done during the accounting process in the accounting department because the accounting department is there to record prior or past transactions or current transactions as they are happening in such a way that we can then construct the financial statements from them on which in part internal users such as management can then make future decisions based on things like the budget the budget then taking past information projecting out into the future with it to try to give us a give us a plan into the future so that means that the quickbooks system from an accounting standpoint is not designed to create the budget in essence it's designed really to once budget is created implement it into the quickbooks system so quickbooks can do what it does well which is to generate reports especially a profit a, a actual versus the budget number type of report so what we're going to do here is take the past period number export it then to excel and then uh, try to try to then think about what's going to happen into the future based on the last year's numbers make some changes where necessary and then import it back into excel putting it into the budget area that's going to be the general plan we're going to be primarily focusing on the income statement which is going to be the performance type of statement so this is what we have done for the last two months this is the only two months of data we have in the system this is our performance for the prior two months we're going to kind of imagine here for our budgeting purposes that this happened basically in the last two months meaning in like november and december of the prior year so that we can imagine it happened before and then we can make a budget based on that information that could be a standard 12 month budget out into the future so a little bit of a, a variation there hopefully that's not too confusing but that's the idea if you go to the first tab notice i'm gonna I'm, where the budget is located i'm gonna go into the cog drop down we're going to go then into the tools over here and then we have the budgeting tool that's where we're going to put the budget back in once we've created it but to create the budget i'm going to export the past data the income statement and then create the budget and then come back in here and put it back into the system so that the quickbooks system can report give us reports like the actual versus the budget now i actually don't want to use the income statement numbers directly because I've got all these subtotals. I don't want all these subtotals. I just want a straight, you know, accounts. So the easiest thing to actually export in this case will probably be the trial balance, which we can then just delete the balance sheet half of it and then create an income statement from it. 
So I know this is not an Excel course, so I'll try, I'm gonna do this fairly quickly. Uh, if you wanna skip over this and get back to the budgets uh, that we're gonna do pretty much next time, you can do that. But we're gonna do some Excel work here. So in order to do this, I'm gonna export this to Excel. This is the plan I would typically have when doing the budget for a company. I would take the data, export it to Excel, do the budget in Excel, and then put it back in the system. All right, export to Excel. I'm gonna put that into our folder here. I'm gonna call it a budgeting folder. That's where it's gonna go. I'm gonna drag it and drop it. I'm gonna grab it, drag it, and drop it. That is mean to do to the file. It's just a file. It's just a file. You grabbed it, you dragged it, and you dropped it into this pit of a folder. Okay, so then I'm gonna right click on it over here. Let's make it large, by the way. Let's make it a large icon so we can see it better. Then right click on it and rename it. This is gonna be the budget. We'll just keep it at that. And now let's open it up. So now I'm just gonna clean this thing up and make a like a single a single step income statement instead of a multiple step income statement with all the with all the subtotals on the way down. I just want income minus expenses. That's it. This simple income statement. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. I'm at the one four five. We can even eh, let's keep it there. And then I'm gonna just delete a bunch of stuff if I mess anything up then I'm, I'm not worried about it because I can always I can always create it again and do it again. So I don't need the header. Then I'm going to I'm going to delete that, put my cursor on one, the whole column, and I'm going to go down to four. And I'm going to do this quickly because it's not an Excel course, but I'll try to you know explain what I'm doing. So I'm going to right click on that and delete that. So there we have that. Now I'd like to format the whole worksheet in a uniform formatting. So you can see here I'm in Arial 8. But if I'm over here, I'm in uh, Calibri 11. I'm gonna go to Calibri 11 because that's more what I'm used to as my default position. So I'm gonna take this item, I'm gonna hit the Format Painter, and I'm gonna paintbrush the entire worksheet by then clicking on the little triangle. And then I'm gonna format this entire worksheet in the format that I want it to be in. So now it's in like the basic Excel formatting, the starting point for Excel. I'm gonna right click on it and then format this thing. And I'm gonna to try to make the whole thing a uniform format, which I'm gonna make currency, negatives are, are net red and bracketed and the dollar signs removed. Should I keep the pennies? I don't really need a pennies because it's a budget. So I'll get rid of the pennies because it's gonna be rounded anyway. So it'll be a little bit cleaner possibly. So there we have it. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna make the whole thing bold too because that might make it easier for you to see in a presentation purpose format. Okay, so then what we want to do is I just want the income statement side of things. So remember, this is in order of balance sheet on top of the income statement. So assets, liabilities, equity, and then the income statement. So the income statement actually starts like right there, that billable expense. So everything above that, I don't need. I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to put my cursor on uh, row 25, left click on it, go all the way up to the top, right click on the selected area and just delete that entire thing. I also don't need the totals down here. Let's put my cursor on col on row 18. It's a row, it's not a column. It's a row. There's only, there's columns are vertical rows. I got, I got it, I got it. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna make the, these, all these expenses, the debits are expenses on the income statement and the credits are income. I'm gonna make the expenses negative. I'm not doing debits and credits here. I'm gonna say all of the income is positive. All of the expenses are negative. And so I'm gonna, I wanna make all these numbers negative. So I could double click on them, each one of them, and put a negative sign in front of them, but that's tedious and there's a little trick that we can do to do it faster. So let's do that, let's do the trick. I'm gonna put my cursor on the column B. This is a column this time, Control C. See, I know what the difference is. And then I'm gonna go back on over here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna then, I'm gonna, sta I'm gonna paste it, but special, paste it in a special way. And I'm gonna go down here and I wanna put the subtraction, the special subtraction paste. Boom, special paste. And then just paste them all at negatives. So now that looks good. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that back on over here so that those are all negatives now. That looks good. I'm gonna right click on this one, delete it. And then I'm just gonna move these over to the same column grabbing them a couple ways I can move them. I could grab like this column by putting it right there and move it over there. I think the easiest way is actually to cut, not copy, but cut, which you could do by right click and cut, or you could say control X and then control C. 
control X and control C. I mean control X and then control V. Control X and then control V. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. And so this is going to be the net income at the bottom. And I can sum this up and I expect when I do, just for suspensive purposes here, what do we expect to happen? If I go to the income statement, we expect to have net income at 132405. Is that what's going to happen here? Let's check it out. Equals the sum brackets. And this is the trusty sum, the most popular function. And there it is, 1324. That's it, because I rounded it, right? 1324. So we didn't mess anything up. Everything is unmessed up. So that's what we have. So that can be then our starting point. This is in essence going to be our, our income statement without any of the of the subtotals. I just got a clean income statement, just positive numbers, income, negative numbers, expenses. I don't have a subtotal for the cost of goods sold or subtotal for all the income accounts or subtotal for gross profit or subtotal for the general expenses, the payroll, the total expenses, the other income, the other expenses and blah, 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 blah. It's just if it's going, if it's income, it's positive. And if it's an expense, it's negative. That gets us to the bottom line in a single step, simple as possible and easiest on which to build a budget from. Next time, we're going to assume this in essence being the prior two months of data. And we're going to kind of assume it was before January. So this is like last November and December, pretending that was the first two months, for example. And then we'll then we'll make a projection 12 months out based on it that we can put back into the QuickBooks system and run reports budget versus actual for the first two months. And then we'll have just budget reports out into the future. Imagining we have not yet, of course, uh, been in that point, don't have any actual data because that's in the future. So we'll do that in future presentations. It will be great.